So for this problem, what they asked us to do is it says find the magnitude and the direction angle of the vector v. All right? So ladies and gentlemen, remember we went through this whole different spiel of v equals the magnitude of any other vector, let's call vector u, times the cosine of theta i plus the sine of theta j, right? And where do we get cosine and theta? Well, from looking at the unit circle, remember when we were able to create a unit, uh, unit vector, we knew that the x, or the v1 first coordinate, was cosine of theta. And this was of sine of theta. So here was your theta, right? So what is the angle that we're dealing with then? 60 degrees, 60 degrees right? So then all we need to, um, which one we're doing? 47. Um, so all we need to say for this is the angle we're dealing with in this problem, because they're asking us what's the angle and what's the magnitude? Theta equals 60 degrees. And then what's the magnitude? What, what, what scalar am I multiplying this by? Three. So you can say your, uh, um, what do they have? The 47? So you can just say the magnitude of our v is equal to 3. That's it. That's it. They gave us all the answers. Right. Cool. Well, I want you guys to understand. You can see that how it's written out. Do you remember when, we wrote, remember when I wrote out this? That's the reason why I wrote this out, so you guys can understand that this is going to be able to show you what, um, how to write out any angle Wait. or any, any component, any uh, vector. Yes. So what I want you to do is this is how you can write out you know, any other vector, right? This is just another way of looking at a vector. So if I give you 3 and 60, you need to understand 3 is representing the magnitude and 60 is representing the angle of that vector. All right? Now the next example we're going to do is we're actually going to figure out, going back, what is the component form. So let's say, Medea.